All right, you guys, welcome to the Amos Williams channel. Now, in today's video, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to start a digital media and marketing agency. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. This channel's sole purpose is to just give you game about life, in business okay so with that being said let's get into how to start a digital media and marketing agency so before we get into how to start a digital media marketing agency let's define what digital media is okay we're not going to worry about marketing i feel like everybody knows what marketing is so digital media is information sharing across different media formats okay through video audio and photo when it comes down to starting your agency competition is fairly low and I'm going to tell you exactly why. So the reason why starting a digital media agency has little competition is simply because of the requirements to even get started. To get started, you literally have to know how to create and produce content of all aspects. You have to know how to do all of this yourself. And this is just a fun fact. 1% of people on social media create content. 1% of that 1% actually continue to create content consistently. Of that 1% are actually content creators who produce every single last aspect of their content themselves. That is why the competition is very low because a lot of people are not gonna do that, okay? People do not have the time, people do not have the patience to learn all of these skills to actually produce everything themselves. So what all do you need to learn how to do? Let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing you need to know how to do is create. Whether that's video, photo, audio, you need to learn how to create. Practice making voice memos, practice with a podcast, practice with a YouTube channel, practice with Instagram, practice with TikTok. You have to know how to create content. Then you have to learn how to produce content. What I mean by that, you need to learn how to take the content that you captured, put it all together. You gotta learn how to color grade. You gotta learn about the lighting. You gotta learn about different angles. You gotta learn about B-roll. There are so many things that come into account when it comes down to producing. You have to learn how to create and produce. So the third thing that you need to learn how to do is analyze. When you're in the digital media and marketing, you have to be able to analyze so you can know what works and what doesn't work. You're going to have clients one day. So you should be able to look at your client's Instagram profile and be able to go through that whole entire page and see, okay, this works, this doesn't work. Okay. This post did really good. This post did it. What worked in this post that didn't work in this post or what was incorporated into this post that wasn't in this post? what is working and what is not working. You have to be able to do that like that, okay? You should be able to analyze anybody's profile and know exactly what to do and where to start. So the four things you have to learn how to do, you have to learn how to be efficient. Becoming efficient, it could, it could mean different things for different people. For me to become efficient, there were times where I had to build PCs because it was just cheaper than going out buying a fully loaded iMac, okay? So I had to learn how to build PCs to run professional video editing software, okay? I had to learn how to color grade. With me color grading, I can make preset filters. So now anytime that my footage is in a certain location, I can use a preset, automatically put it on there. It Save. saves me about 20, 30 minutes per video, okay? So you have to learn different tactics in becoming efficient in what you produce, but also maintain quality, okay? I know that sounds complicated, but as time goes on, trust me, Trust me, you will you will just get it. So another thing that you have to learn how to do is improve your quality. Now, improving your quality could call for different many things, okay? So you may need to upgrade your phone. You may need to upgrade your camera setup. You may need to get tripods. You may need to get ring lights, okay? But if you've properly learned how to do everything, you will learn how to manipulate light. So I don't use ring lights. I don't use tripods. I'm using a bubbly soda or sparkling water can okay holding up my phone on top of the bubbly box that's sitting on top of a box okay so i make my own tripod i know how to i've been doing this for years so i just i just know how to make stuff work okay but i can still produce quality okay at first i had what a 13 pro and 13 pro camera versus the 14 camera big difference okay so i had to upgrade my camera to produce qu higher quality content i had to learn how to color grade color balance color correct okay how to get rid of red eye you have to learn how to do all of this kind of stuff okay to improve your quality and one thing about quality quality always stops somebody or it stops most of the people your post could not even make sense but if it looks good people will rock with it 
okay? It gives you a little bit more time to add value later, or you can just add value in the caption, okay? Start somewhere. Quality is so important when it comes down to creating content, and yes, it does take a lot of time, and it takes a lot of patience, but that is why digital media is so lucrative and there's so much opportunity because people are not gonna take out the time to sit down and color grade a video for 30 minutes. Not that many people are gonna do it, but I'm willing to do it. If you're watching this video, you're more than likely willing to do it. Boom, you're gonna get clients, bro. So the next thing you need to do is duplicate yourself. How do you duplicate yourself? You can pay somebody on Fiverr to do the work for you. You can hire a homeboy. You have to be able to duplicate yourself so you can scale. Me, for instance, I got into the digital media game back in 2019. So at this point of 2023, I know what the hell I'm doing. But for me to duplicate myself, technology has advanced so much, I can build a chatbot. But I know how to do that because I took out time to learn every single last thing else, which leads up to this. So I can duplicate myself with a chatbot, which means I can bring on more clients but I will basically just be proofreading stuff because with the power of chat GPT, it'll be soon to where I can do my job by saying, hey, every client that I have needs a 10 second reel with a trending motivational quote. I need them all scheduled for eight o'clock PM, but just do not upload them right now because I need to proofread them and check them to make sure that everything is exactly how I want them to go, okay? I will be able to do that and more than likely on a screen, everybody's post will come up and I can just go through and I can clip out stuff. I can cut it. I can put something in there. I can add transitions. I can do whatever I need to do to fix it up, to make it my style. That is how I can duplicate myself. Because one thing about it, if you can duplicate yourself with technology, it is way cheaper than a human because I can easily pay a company to use their app for 120 bucks a year. If I use a human, it's going to cost me anywhere from 40 to $75,000 a year. Okay, so try to learn everything that you possibly can on your own. Try to be a self juggernaut and duplicate yourself with technology versus a human. Now, I know a lot of people may not like that because it's like, oh, you're not giving anybody else an opportunity. Look, everybody can always have an opportunity, but for you to keep your overhead low, this is something that I would highly recommend you to look into, okay? Because overhead adds up super, super quick, and that's why a lot of businesses fail. Overhead goes up here, but you're only making this right here. OK, so if you get rid of all of the employees and all the extra stuff, the buildings, the rent, you bring your overhead down and it continues to go down. You're still making this. But whenever you duplicate yourself with technology, you can keep on going up and your overhead just stays here. So you can keep on taking 20, 30, 40, 50 clients and you can be charging anywhere from twenty five hundred dollars a month. Bro, you're making bank and it's just you and computers. So find out how to effectively duplicate yourself that works best for you, okay? The way I may duplicate myself and my system, it just may not work for you. Everybody's system could be different. Everybody's scenarios are different. Everybody's goals are different. Always keep that in mind. So how do you add the marketing aspect to your digital media agency, okay? You wanna be digital media and marketing. Guess what? All of the tools that I told you in this video, you literally apply it to yourself and your own social media platforms and you will be perfectly fine. Everything that I told you is the game to growing on social media, okay? You create the content, you're able to analyze and see what works and doesn't work, you improve your quality, you become efficient, you duplicate your system, boom, there you go. Now, just to be real, how long did it even take me to get to this point of actually starting my digital media marketing agency? Like I said, I started this in 2019, I just cut the ribbon basically in 2023, okay? Because it took me so long to learn how to create, how to produce. I had to learn how to edit. I had to learn how to just crop stuff, reformat things. I had to learn all of these different things over the vast amount of years. But guess what took me so long to learn it all, okay? I was still working a job. I still had other business side hustles, okay? I had life going on, okay? So you have to incorporate all of that into your schedule. So it could take you, you know what I'm saying, four or five years like it took me. It could take you, you know what I'm saying, a little bit longer. Or if you're younger, you don't have anything tying you down. Luckily, I don't have like any kids or anything tying me down. So, you know, I was able to hit it in the four to five years. But if you're younger than me and you, you know, you may still live with your parents or whatever, this is something that you can start and be working on. And if you just really buckle down, you can learn it like this, bro. If you just really, really buckle down, you take out the time and you lock in. There are people in real life that have never seen me in years. They don't even know what the hell I've been doing. I've literally been working on building this business. Literally. People have not seen me in years. There's people that hadn't even seen me in high school. I graduated in 2016. There's people that ain't seen me since 2016, bro. 
There's some people that ain't even seen me since 2019. You have to know everything down to a science. And all of that takes time. It's trial, error, and persistence, okay? But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy. If you did learn something new, look, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you miss out on any future content. This channel's sole purpose is for me to just give out the game to you guys about business and life, okay? I'm only 25 years old, but, you know, I've done a lot, okay? It's a lot of trial and error. I've always wanted to learn, and honestly, I dedicated my 20s to fail on purpose as many times as I possibly could because I knew I had time on my side. That is the mindset that you have to have. All of this will work out, okay? Keep up with the videos. I'm gonna keep dishing out the game. I don't know how many videos per week that I will drop, but I'm going to continue giving out the game. If you want game in between the weeks or in between the episodes, be sure to follow me on Instagram at P-L-N-T-L-R. That is my personal page. My business page is amoswilliams.co, okay? A-M-O-S hyphenated Williams dot C-O. And I don't know why I just spelled that out because I put captions on my videos. But that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.